Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. So in this video, I am super excited to play around with some more fly press tooling. Um, if you haven't been watching my whole video series on making tooling for this fly press, uh, they'll all be linked up in a playlist. Jessica will have that link down in the description down below so you can go check that out. But amongst that, uh, amongst that, playlist, you'll find a common theme. The common theme is this fly press has a really tall opening and I'm always struggling with that. It's a good thing in one way, bad in another. I have to build up from the bottom up to get my tooling up to the right height because the ram falls short of making it all the way down to a bottom die. So in a standard fly press, there's not a lot of clearance height. And so it's usually a fight. You have to make your tools really short. In this case, my I have a lot of clearance height, so I have to build up my tooling to each other um, and to meet in the middle somewhere. So this way the ram's not fully extended. So that brings in the tooling that I got. So Blacksmith Supply, I talked to the owner of Blacksmith Supply. They're a fan of the channel and they wanted to take and support what we do here at Christ Center Ironworks. So they went ahead and sent me over some free tooling. If you want to check out Blacksmith Supply, they have a lot of great stuff. They've been very gracious and donated a ton of tongs for our Friday night giveaway live streams. I highly suggest you go check them out. They will be linked up in the description down below as well. Um, you can go check out their uh, thing there. And also they have a coupon code for the whole month of July where you can get 7% off there um, if you, know, you use that at checkout. So be sure to click on all that, use the coupon code and go get yourself some great blacksmithing tools. But full disclosure, they sent these tools to me free of charge. The one thing they sent me was this tool extension. Now this is going to be great. It's a tool holder extension and it looks like it extends everything by roughly an inch or two. Well, probably about two inches or a little bit more there. And that's going to help close up some of that distance for me. So I'm super excited about putting this, we'll install this today, and we'll get some of the other tools chucked up here. The next tools that they sent me is they actually sent me a hexagon punch. And this hexagon punch, I've got already kind of an idea of what I want to use it for. Today we're going to play with it just on a random scrap bar of steel. But I have a project in mind I think I want to use this for. But I'd love if you comment down below what you would like to, what type of things you think you could use this uh, hexagon punch for. Um, so again, they sent this to me free of charge. It's really well machined. It looks like top notch tooling. Uh, there's nothing really left to be said to this thing. It's just, I mean, it's a chunk of steel, <laughs> like most fly press tooling is. So yeah, so I'm going to be using that just for a little bit today. They also sent me over a spline punch. Now, again, this, I, I don't have a need to punch splines, but if you can think of something that this can be really good and useful for uh, after watching this video today, definitely drop me a comment down below or like what you would actually use this tool for. Uh, again, I kind of have a thing worked out in my mind what I want to use this tool for, uh, but you know, that'll be for future videos. Again, a very well machined tool. It's, yeah, it's machined. What else is there to say about it? It's, it's perfect, basically. <laughs> as perfect as a human being and a machine can make, anyhow. So anyways, so without further ado and enough of me jawing on here, showing off the tools and whatnot, let's actually install some of this stuff and get to making a little bit of a, a project and see how those actual tools work out. Okay, so first things first, I've got this bull die in here. We need to take this out real quick. So that's what we're gonna do now. I'm gonna lower the ram down. I'm gonna loosen that little grub screw in there, or a little set screw. Now that little set screw, this is what I'm talking about wearing out over time. Like, you know, this will eventually, you know, by cranking it and trying to tighten in tooling, um, these are threads, eventually they will wear out. So it's nice to have a semi-disposable, well-machined item uh, that, you know, you can get rid of instead of using it for the regular tooling. So we'll roll that up out of there and we'll take that out of the way. I don't suggest just loosening it and letting these dies drop because especially if your finger's in their way or anything like that, um, that's a fairly heavy die. 
and it wouldn't feel too good coming down on a finger. So we'll move that bowling die out of the way. And now we'll go ahead and put in our actual uh, tool holder, which this is just, I've already decided, this is going to live in this fly press, just like you see it. I'm actually gonna let it just live there permanently. And this will be the thing that I actually install stuff into now all the time. So now I'm gonna use this, push it down to the bottom of the bottom of the swedge block. I'm gonna loosen it up just a little bit. Just so this way I can get things squared up. There we go. And then I'm gonna use the fly press to kind of squeeze and make sure this is sitting flush. And then I'm just gonna tighten that right back up. And I like leaving the key, um, the little hex key in the fly press itself. I don't find that it hurts anything. It doesn't ever come up here and hit the top of the fly press. It's just in a good spot that if I need to loosen something, I can. But there you go. Easy peasy. Now we've got our new die. Uh, we got our new tool holder in here. As you can see, now I can actually pull this down. That's what I'm gonna do now. I'll move some of this down here. And I can probably get rid of this whole block now, this much larger block. So I'll get that and go set my swedge block back where it belongs. Back in its stand. And now I can just put one block high and put my die right back up and in here. Keep it up nice and tight in there, snug that up, and then we just run this down. Pull this out a little bit. I can always stack on a few more washers to get like an adjusted height. But there you go. Get that tightened right up. And now I can just tight snug that down on there and we're good to go. So as you can see, that really helps with the height. This really gives it quite the extension. Um, you know, I lied earlier, let's say that's probably a good three inch extension, if you will, which is really going to help out with me not having to stack up so many blocks to get it up to a, you know, a good height for this thing to use. And about half of the RAM is still up in the actual uh, guides, so that's good. Okay, first up, we're gonna use the hex, hexagon punch. I'm gonna bring that down. We're gonna see what we can do with that. Squeeze it there. I'm gonna try to come to one other side of it here. It's looking pretty cool. Let's see if we can fit another one in here. That's kind of creating an interesting little pattern. That I think we could use for something. Let me go ahead and get that hot again. And hopefully come out with something really neat. All right, yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. Like I said, I've kind of got an idea already, but I don't want to say anything about it. Let you all come up with your own ideas because you might be thinking better than me. Anyways, so there you go. There's a neat little and um, little bit of a stamp action that we can use and, and do, which I think will be pretty darn cool. in a future project for sure. So there we have it.
Okay, now we have the spline punch installed. And I'm gonna do a little something different here. I'm actually gonna to come to the edge of this piece and I'm gonna use it right along the edge first. Cause I think that's gonna be really cool. A really cool effect. And then I'm gonna put it right in the middle. Oh, double bite. That'll be crucial not to do that in future steps. Start, can I get a neat look there? Let's see here if I could do another one of these. So I probably won't be able to do it right there. So again, right on the edge, it has a lot of effect for, of course, less surface area of contact. But let's go ahead and get this hot one more time. Okay, got it hot again. I'll get that center lined up one more time. I'll make that a little deeper impression. That's looking pretty cool. I'll go to that edge again. Give that a little bit more deep of an impression. Go to the opposite edge. Give that a deeper impression. Now, a smart man would probably set up a fence system for this. And that way you could progress down a bar really super easy. Without a whole lot of trouble at all. Again, a smart man. <laughs> and not just one doing a demonstration. Get that flattened back out. Bam, there you have it. Let me brush this real quick. Okay, there you have it. That's what those tools make. Pretty, pretty cool if I don't say so myself okay so there you have it folks pretty cool um, these are awesome tools thank you blacksmith supply for sending those over to me this new tool holder is working out marvelously with all these tools that's very awesome it's very gracious of them um, if you guys are in the market for some blacksmithing tools you should go check them out you know, go get something from them. Uh, it really does, you know, it does mean a lot and it makes a difference on the channel for sure uh, when big companies come out like that and help support what we do here at Christ Center Ironworks. Again, I got all these tools free of charge. So full disclosure there, they wanted to support what we did and they sent that over. So thank you Blacksmith Supply for that. Also, the tongs I was using to hold the stock in this video are these really great tom tongs. If you guys see those there, these are gorgeous. These are half inch bolt jaw tongs. They've got that little like wolf thing on the end. Uh, pretty cool, super high quality tongs if no one's ever used these before. But these are what we'll be, be giving away um, for the next several months in our Friday night live streams, our giveaway live streams. So be sure to check out that. Jessica will also have a link to our live streams down in the description down below. And for the whole month of July, for the whole month of July, if you use the coupon code uh, that's linked up down there, when you go for purchase or, or checkout, you get 7% off. Um, so again, go check out Blacksmith Supply. Can't say enough. I know it's like hashtag not a sponsor, but a supporter of the channel. So, you know, use your own due diligence there. Um, if you want to get something, great. And, uh, you know, again, thank you for sending these over free of charge and to help out the community. Okay, so there you have it, folks. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Your support really does matter um, to us here at Christ Centered Ironworks and, you know, your viewing time as well so thank you to all the channel members out there who make this content online possible um, for us we just i can't say thank you enough to everybody out there that supports us on a regular basis and again big shout out to blacksmith supply 
um, for coming along and wanting to support the channel and supporting the live streams. That's really critical. I know a lot of people haven't even watched to the end of this video, and so this is really for my core demographic. And you all know who you made it. You all know who you are. Comment, I made it, if you made it all the way to the end of this video and this spew. Um, again, it's awesome what we're being able to uh, do. It's a, such a blessing for Jessica and I to be able to give give away things like this and that God keeps putting the right people in our path that want to partner with us to give away tooling and help out beginning Smiths out there. So again, can't thank you enough and I really hope you enjoyed this video. So that's it for today. God bless each and every last one of you out there and we hope to see you in one of our Friday night live streams. Take care. Bye now.